Um, uh, there's no moral victories. Uh, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't win the game. Uh, there's no, like I said, there's no moral victories. But, um, I feel different than I felt Thursday night. I felt like we came off that court. We left everything we had on that court and trying to overcome a team that was just shooting heck out of it. 16 for 35 and three point line. And contested shots. And I don't have the breakdown of the film right now, but you know, those last three threes, seemed like they had three threes. And I totally disagree with the three point, three point foul. They called late in the game, we're up one. Uh, from my angle, the guy kicked his fifth foot out. So those are just huge calls, you know. Um, but our guys back, you know, we offset their three points shooting some by getting to the foul line 26 times, making 21 of them. Um, got down early, like I said, got down 18 early. And battled the back, got back to four at halftime. I think they got up eight or 10, 12 again in the second half. We just kept battling back. And again, um, it's not easy on the road. Uh, and those three pointers are uh, like daggers every time we make one. But we didn't win the game, but again, I'm proud of the way our guys fought and hung in there. You know, with those threes, um, you know, the first time you faced these guys, I believe they only had 71 points. Um, had the 86 tonight on 16 made threes. You guys are able to limit them to, I think, three in the second half. Last meeting, and two of those, I believe, were pretty late in the game. You know, did you see anything different that you guys were doing with that, or is it just all credit to them making Jerry, stuff like this? You know, these are tough shots. And we made them take some tough shots. They hit contested shots. And when you're, when you're at home, you have a little bit more opportunity to do that. Uh, I mean, they're hard. We man them about as much as you can man them. Uh, with our bench and fatigue and all that. And I thought our guys did a pretty good job right there. So we, we tried to mix the zone up there a little bit with them. But, you know, I thought we, you know, a little bit of difference in game two is when Jamar comes over with the block shots, uh, they got some putbacks off of his going after some balls sometimes. And sometimes you just can't get to them. You don't need to go after all of them because it leaves your guy open for, you know, offensive rebound. And second chance points was a factor too. But uh, give them some credit. So they made 16 of them for 35, just not making 16. They made them at a high clip. And I thought they made tough shots all day long. Um, you know, like you said, get down 18 early. Uh, it seemed like Josh was a big part of that comeback. I think he had the last nine points in the first half for you guys, 14 in the first half. You know, how important was he, um, you know, to try to make this a game? And, you know, how good is it to see him kind of go back to the way he was playing before, uh, you know, the two games before this? Well, that game was up and down, and that's where Josh is best at. And that's what we need from Josh every night. Um, you know, we, we had that kind of play on Thursday night in different games, but that's the Josh we've been seeing. He was really good. You know, those six guys that played, um, they, they left everything out on the court. I thought Buds came in and added to it a little bit tonight, too. Thought he gave, gave some energy out there to help us. Uh, you know, with Buds, it seems like his minutes lately, you know, he might not be playing a ton like some of these other guys, but it seems like his minutes have been more productive as a player. I guess, what have you seen from him, you know, during the stretch, and how important is it to get those minutes so J. Martin gets some rest? Well, J. Martin needs a rest for sure, and like I tell him all the time, you know, players control playing time. Uh, the better you play, the more minutes you get. It's not about just giving you minutes. you got to be productive within those minutes, and, uh, you know, he was better. He was more productive. He was more active in finishing things, six and, you know, six and two in his, you know, eight minutes was a productive night for him. You know, kind of going back to the start, they scored the first 10 points. It seemed like they were really energized. The crowd was, you know, maybe better than what they had seen. I think they averaged 140 or, you know, leading into this game. I guess, was it just, you know, them kind of coming out hot and you guys on your heels a little bit, or what did you well, say about that? Well, again, our guys have to understand it's part of it. We're going to be everybody Super Bowl. That's why they schedule whatever night they had in here to get the three or four people they had, how many people they had, or what they put on put on the sheet. Uh, but whatever they put on that sheet, it's probably the most we'll have all year long. Um, and those guys, I give them extra edge and juice. Uh, and again, they're a good team. Um, and they played us tough at our place. You know, it was a five point game at halftime. We pulled away the second half, but um, you know, they just got so many weapons out there. And you got a little brewer, you know, able to get in that lane. Um, they beat a lot of people. You know, Luke talked about needing to be better at finishing games. Um, you know, I look at 
this one. I like to do a lot of tech too, the last few minutes there. I guess, is there anything that you can do differently during those situations or, or want to do better in those situations or it's just... Well, Jared, naturally you want that other team to get a, get a stop. Uh, that three-pointer he makes out there with a hand in his face, uh, you don't want that to go in. I mean, don't want him to call that three-point foul on Cam right there. You know, I thought we were we were pretty efficient right there down that stretch. We were getting to the foul line. We were making the shots to um, get us back in and to get that lead. I thought we were pretty efficient. Jerry found out looking at the film and again, getting that foul line. You know, we get the foul line 19 times second half. So we're driving the basketball and, um, you know, we shoot 50% in the second half. Uh, they shoot 40, 45, the difference was they make they make nine of 17 threes in that second half. And again, without not looking at these stats, I know three of them for sure, plus a three-point foul came in that last, seemed like three to four minutes. It kind of kept them separating a little bit or um, put them back ahead even. 